Hey YouTube, it's Brittany and today I'm doing a video, of course. It's my mommy must have from newborn to three months, as well as some um, reviews or comparisons on some of the items with similar items that you can also purchase, um, as well as, it's kind of like a hype versus effectiveness type video. Um, so yeah, if you want to see some more mommy must have from zero to three months, but I use it, I work that work for me. Stay tuned. If not, click off. Um, these are to me. And I'm going to tell you why. It's it's a hype thing. Like, oh, it's cute. You can hang it from your diaper bag and da 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 da. Oh. So, this bag is clearly partially out. But look. I mean, it kind of like it comes out, but you kind of have to pull. And then after you pull, you kind of have to find the perforated edge, which is right here. And the smell isn't all that good. Diaper bags are a must have for me, but I use these. These are Sassy diaper bags, and I got these at Walmart. I, they might have met Target, I don't know, but they're 50 bags. Now these come, I think, like 30, 25, 26, something like that. I know it's less than this. And these, cost more. This is about almost four dollars for this for one. If you want to get the combination pack for two, you can get two for $7.99 and yes it comes with little spare refills but basically even with the refills you only get like 60 bags total and that's between two of these already with bags in them and then um, the two the extra two refills that we give you. That's a total of 60 bags for eight dollars and I got 50 bags for a dollar and some change and I bought two of these so I got a hundred bags for I want to say maybe three dollars versus eight dollars mm. and if you want a cute way to carry them keep them in their little ziploc bag but, um they look like this they like regular regular little um shopping bags but you know they hold about, I've actually put three pampers in here. They hold about three pampers. They have a nice powdery scent. Um, if you have an ungodly blowout, you can put, you know, double bag it, triple bag it. They tie easily. You know, do a little tie, do a double tie, and you toss it. Simple. Why do you have to have all this craziness? This is easy. Easy. Um, yeah, so I would say one thing that you need to have is some type of diaper disposal system. If you don't have a diaper genie, use a baggie. If you don't want to go buy a whole bunch of little bags like this or ungodly amount of money for this, then then don't. Um, I'm a baller on a budget, trust me. And and if you don't want to go buy that, you can do the free option. If you go shopping, use the save your um save your shopping bags. Okay, so I have parent stories and I have this thing. This crap does not work. Yes, it smells lighter and has a pleasant, more pleasant scent than Desitin. Yes, it's easier to wipe off than Desitin, but for those purposes, that's why it doesn't work. You don't want a diaper rash clean that can easily be wiped off because it's not going to be, if it can be wiped off you easily, it can wipe off your baby easily by their diaper or whatever. And how effective is it going to be if it's not on the diaper rash? So I used this for about four days because I think when he was about three weeks old, he had a little bit of rash. So I used this and it wasn't doing anything. Um, it smelled good, but I don't think it did anything. So it was just a dusting. So I used this and it cleared right up. It took a day. And this is a maximum strength. Now, I will say that it might have um, worked a little too well because he had like a little, um, it kind of was dry. So they had, this is a maximum strength. I probably would say until they're three months old, I would not use this. For newborns, just use the regular one, the original, and it should clear it right up. New mom's duck rash cream. Um, but I prefer Destin over Parents Choice. I'm a fan of these type. Any type where you can either do a tri-fold because you can fold it into threes. When usually when the baby gets older, you fold it into threes, you use a section of birth. When they're mess that section up, you can fold it to a different section. You know, you have three feedings which you use for you use that. And these thicker ones um, don't get soggy wet. Like any type of 
thick burp cloth, and I got this, I think, from TJ Maxx or Ross, and look, it just kind of goes like that. Like, terry cloth is anything, it's kind of like similar to what they make your baby towels in, your infant washcloths in. Um, that's a washcloth, but it's, it, the only difference is it's a little bit longer. Don't get a terry cloth, any terry cloth, anything you're using as a burp cloth, because, like anything else, terry cloth absorbs, absorbs water, and it holds it. It doesn't absorb it to get rid of it. It holds it. So like when you take a bath, that's why you use terry cloth because it holds the water, it holds the, the stud in. So after about three uses, after about one use with a terry cloth or cloth like this, it's going to be sloppy wet and it's going to take forever to dry. These thick ones last a lot longer. And Xavier is a jeweler and spit up and, you know, these are durable. So definitely invest in a few thick cloth diaper burp I'm sorry diaper cloth burp cloth I don't think this is a must have pacifier wipe personally I think it's kind of like I mean they're good if you have to use them but really it's, it's I mean they work I will say they work but how often do I use them very rarely and the reason why is because I use these I definitely will say this is a must have for me because Xavier, if you have a baby like I do, who spits his pacifier out, like he'll hold it and he'll just get tired of it and he'll, and he'll launch the pacifier out. He it, it to, now it's a game to him, but now he'll launch it and it stays on him. Ha ha ha, I got you guys. But, um, so any type of, this is the um, MAM brand, it's M-A-M, and I like this one because it does have teeth in it, so even though it's plastic. You push this little thing up and it's easier to maneuver than the um, suspender clip one, which I have one of those two look like this. Um, so you just open it to put it on the bed or whatever and you slide it up to close it and it's really, really tight. And then this one you, you can use with any type of pacifier. So I have the one that has everything on it. And this you need button comes like this. And this is for like the nub pacifiers, like they have no handle on it, you just stick it on there and it'll stay. Or even if you do have a hand, um, it'll stay. If you have handle pacifiers, or if you have the um, gumdrop pacifiers, which have no handle at all, you can take this piece off, it just slides right off, and you can stick it right on the handle, it velcros, you stick it right on the handle like that. And this is small enough to where it even goes on the gumdrop pacifiers. You just kind of um, fold it a little bit like that and it slides right through that little hole in the gun drop pacifier. So this is the only one that I buy this brand because this is the only one that can go with any pacifier that he has. And this kind of avoids the need to buy these because they're not going to hit the ground. But if you are concerned about doing dust and stuff on them, buy pacifiers that come with pacifier covers. And usually, I believe they're the Nook ones that do. So this is his Steelers pacifier. Yes, he's a Steelers baby. But this comes with, this is one I got at the gas station, I think. This is a Nook brand, and it just comes with a pacifier cover. So when he spits it out, I can just reach in, and instead of grabbing pacifier wipes, I can just grab his cover and pop it on, and it's still on him, and nothing floating around can get to it. So I would say, if you're not gonna, don't invest in these, don't spend the money. Just spend the money getting a couple of good pacifiers that have covers with them, and they're only like $2.99, maybe $3.99 the most. A corner dispenser or a bottle that has a form of dispenser option. I know the Simlac bottle, Smart Bottles have a cap that you can put on that you can put the form in the top, and the cap is, or the nipple cap, so, and you can put the water in already, so that way you can mix a fresh bottle when you're on the go or if you don't want to invest in that we can get one of these and I think Chains and Motherhood had one I had one as well but I ran over it and it's really durable because it kind of like it, it didn't really break but it did crack on the bottom I mean a car ran over and all that will crack and I didn't want it because I didn't want to see the Carlos got in his food but it's really durable um and this is by Parents Choice it's a form of dispenser and it has three compartments for precise measurements, perfect size for traveling, and makes it fresh every time. So, the thing I like about it is it does have three compartments. I can put enough formula in for three feedings, 
and you know once I just turn the spout which has a close cap on it with a little flip cap I don't know if you can see it there a little flip cap so when he's done with this section I could turn it to the next section up here and do it and then for real without having to take the whole canister like I don't understand how you could take the whole canister of formula with them your baby should not eat that much while you're out or how how often are you out with the baby you know If you go to a restaurant and baby's hungry and you need to mix a fresh bottle, um, ask them for warm water. I was at Applebee's, asked for warm water, she brought it to me. We had a Chinese buffet, they brought me warm water. Because they see you with the baby, so they know what you're using warm water for. I hot will do it, because a lot of people ask for it so they can put their utensils in, so it's nothing to them really. Um, ask for warm water, don't be afraid to ask for it. Anything that you could attract, anything you could put on your travel system to keep the baby occupied because they're in the back seat alone. Um, and unless you have a mirror, they're staring at the back seat. Or sometimes when they get tired of looking at themselves and you want something to do, you want something that's gonna, you know, keep them entertained while they're back there. And Jermaine got him a really good one. I'll probably do a rerun on it later, but any type of car seat entertainment is really good, especially if you're traveling by yourself. They keep it once they're old enough, I think about nine, what is he? 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, because you're going to be, they're going to charge you like $40, $50 for a boppy when you can pay $25 for a boppy if you go somewhere else. And I can buy different covers. This is just the cover. I need to take it off and wash it, but this is just the cover he had when it came with the cover and everything. So I can buy a different cover that I want, but he loves this thing. And you're going to love this thing. And a lot of people say, use a boppy for breastfeeding. Mm. You know, I was a attempted breastfeeder I stopped when he was 10 weeks old um but I also use this in the middle of the night because when you're at 2 a.m trying to do a feeding you can you know sit on the bed prop yourself up against the pillow and you put this around your waist and you just lay the baby on it you can like rest your arm on it so your arm is not tired at 2 a.m so and then you know you can lay the baby on it um when he was a newborn I'll put a blanket across that kind of act like a little kind of like a um I want to say a cradle-ish. What is what is a hammock-like thing? So I like put a blanket across and lay him on it, and so he wasn't like down on the bottom. And to this day, I can still do that. Or now I just sit him in it and he stays there. But you can use this boppy up until about I would say a year, because they you know when they start sitting up, you kind of want them to still be supportive when they start to sit up. You could put them in it, you know, turn it around this way so they're facing that way, and they can rest on it. Once they know how to sit up. So, a boppy. There are so many uses for this. I even use this boppy. Like, I've laid my head on it. A boppy. You don't have to spend an extravagant amount of money for a bottle warmer. Um, they even have a bottle warmer for your car where you like put it in this insulated thing and you plug it in the car charger. I do, it's 20, bu 20 bucks, and I think I'm going to go get that for that way I don't have to, you know. I can always have a fresh warm bottle for him, but a bottle warmer because doing it the old school method, trying to heat it up in the pot on the stove at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. or trying to run hot water over it at, um, you know, 3 a.m. is just ridiculous. And that's mainly for formula fed babies because with um, breast fed babies, if you're dissolving your milk, you don't really boil it, you just put it in hot water and it, it, it'll loosen up. So you, that's not I no bottle warmer for breast milk. No. If you think pregnancy brain is a B, um, postpartum brain is ten times worse. It, you're like in a whirlwind. Like when you have a baby, it's unmappy. Okay, people are constantly throwing numbers at you, throwing dates at you, measurements at you. Have something to put it in. So if you don't, you know, have like, I think every phone nowadays has some type of camera even the non-smartphones have can't I mean not can calendars in them. So if you're a person who's techie and you have to, you know, if you want to use your calendar in your phone, 
do that. If you have like a little note section in your phone, use that to keep notes. I do both. Um, I usually do my calendar because I set it to an alarm so I can remember. But I'm like a pen to paper type person. Like I can't really remember unless I write it down. I'm a list maker. I have to physically write something down. So this is a little abs absurd, but I have a tracker for everything. Oh, that's the other thing. Have some type of um, feeding tracker. You can use, I think I have one on my iPod. It's called iBaby. And, you know, it tracks your feedings or diaper changes, how many ounces. And then it gets, after so many entries, um, you all, it always feels like they're how many ounces they had. It auto feels when they should probably have a poop, when they should probably be sleep, when they should be waking them up for a bottle. But I have this new mom journal. It's called the Organize Her. I got it at Target and it was $7.99. It helps you keep track of their sleep patterns, feeding schedules, doctor's appointments, and special moments. So you need something that you can you also need something that you can keep track of your stuff. Like um, I like this one because it goes in my purse easily. I like using this one in my purse. I kind of switch them out depending on what size purse I have, but this one's cute. It's a check the size and it has so you need some type of tracker, agenda, planner, something, notebook, even if it's just a regular notebook to write down dates, times, feelings. Sleeper that turns into a gown like this is um Carter's and a lot of their sleepers have the snaps to where you can open it up and snap it into a gown so right now it looks like this a regular sleeper and however if you unsnap it so it can go from a I didn't do the back but it can go from a sleeper to a gown and or you can get the ones that are already pre-made like that, which look like this. And it has like a little elastic bottom. Two weeks, I was really trying to do all the little snaps and put them on the sleepers, and I was like, bump this. I went and put all his sleepers that could go like this. I changed them into gowns, and that's what I put him in, so I can easily, you know, in the morning, or when I wake up, or when he wakes up for changing, slide that joker up, change the diaper, slide it back down, you know, leave the socks on them, he's good to go. And it's long sleeves, and a lot of them have the hand mitts on them, so you're really not putting so much on your baby. So those are something I would really invest in. I wouldn't invest in a whole bunch of sleepers when they're, like, like newborn sleepers, invest in gowns that go from zero to six months. You'll get more use out of them, they're more practical for a late night, you know, overnight thing. One more thing, and it's in here, this little, this own little baby article kit. And that's this. A thermometer. Um, because he did have a fever a little bit. He, um, I really get those shots. You're gonna have to monitor them for fever. And he did have a little bit of fever, so I gave him baby motrin. And somebody said that they couldn't find baby motrin. I got his at Walmart and it's the Mo Motrin infant drops. And old. It, they say ask a physician and there's a section where you can give him like a point six seven five, I think. And that's how much I gave him. He was fine. So this is baby infant motion drops. And that's what I gave it to Xavier. Um, but yeah. So when I was trying to check his fever, his temperature, I this is one that came with his um, safety first kit, I think. It's just a standard thermometer where you just stick it under their neck, under their arm, in their booty. Xavier's like going for Well, not in the booty, between their butt cheeks. It's not going for that. Um, and even trying to do it on his arm when he's fussy and he's a fever, it's hard to use this. So... We go for one of these and this is a safety first um ugh, safety first thermometer but it's the pacifier version and it comes with a little cap like that and you just pull it off and they don't know the difference it's a regular pacifier it just has a reading in there and the tip they don't feel this at all and you just give it to them and the reading comes on this section and you just press this little green button to start it and, that, and it also gives you the last reading. So his last temperature was 98.7. So it always gives you what his last temperature reading was. And now it's set to go. And you put it on there. And it'll do a beep when it's done like any other pacifier. Or any other thermometer. But I like this because it's easier to use. Right now that is everything that uh, for my mommy must have from newborn to three months. And I hope you guys like the video. If you want me to do any other 
videos like this, let me know. I'm sure there's some other things that I use, but those are the main things I bought up right now. And that's everything. Bye.